Hey guys, what is up? This is Cody, or X Code A. How's it going today? Hopefully everybody watching this video is having yourself a snazzy day. Let me know in the comments down below where you're watching the video from, inside or outside of the United States. I always love to know. Today's video is a story of the first time I ever tried tincture. Some powerful stuff, man. Some absolutely powerful stuff. And it ended up turning out to be a pretty funny story. And I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you do at any point, please press the like button and subscribe for more videos. So if you guys don't know what tincture is, it's a magical thing. It's my preferred way of like doing edibles. I never really enjoyed eating, you know, stuff like brownies, cookies. Number one, because I don't like chocolate. I know, listen. And I always felt like when you go to the dispensary, unless it's like a medical dispensary, like a, just a recreational one, you ended up having to eat a whole lot of something just to get high. Like you'd have to eat like a whole chocolate bar or like a whole tray of gummies just to get 100 milligrams but the medical dispensary ones they got some strong stuff including the tincture tincture is where you take a whole bunch of that sticky icky mix it with alcohol and then strain all the alcohol out and you're just left with just incredible just absolutely the best flavor it's so good every time i go to the dispensary i usually get a thousand milligram little tincture jar and it is just splendid but absolutely nothing will compare the first time i ever tried tincture it, this was the best tasting anything i've ever had in my entire life before i continue if you guys would like to support the channel for a dollar or two a month check out the link in the description for my patreon page where i have unlisted uncensored smoking videos i'll talk about it more at the end of the video so this took place when i was in high school i was probably a sophomore or junior in high school and my local plug the same plug that would make me wait all day for some weed dude he was mr unreliable it was like the spatula and spongebob except he was the mr unreliable you'd call this dude at noon he'd be like yeah dude no problem be there in a half an hour you call him at two o'clock in the afternoon like hey man are you still coming around and he's like dude something came up i'm just leaving right now five o'clock rolls around hey dude i'm just around the corner 6 30 p.m all right i'm pulling up right now eight o'clock at night dude where are you bro and I'm like inside every time, man, every time. Well, luckily, as the years went on in high school, I became better friends with him. And I would go over to his house almost every single day after school. So like, there was no wait, okay? I'd be like, yo, dude, scale me out a bag. And he'd be right there, so there'd be no excuses. And this was one of those days. I would skip the last period of the day, which was typically art class. I shouldn't have done that, man. Art class was pretty fun. But it, they shouldn't have put it at the end of the day because the last period of the day was the easiest to skip, all right? Because whenever anybody would see you off and away from school, you'd be like, oh, I'm just a senior with a free period. People would buy it every time, man. And I had heard the rumors going around the school, all my friends talking about it that the plug had some tincture. And I didn't even know what it was at this point. And I remember on this day, I met up with my girlfriend at the time over at the gas station. We were gonna hang out. She was getting dropped off there because she went to a different school. And we were just walking around and I heard the word, okay? The bird is the word, I heard the word. Got a text message saying, hey man, you wanna buy some tincture? And then I thought to myself, shit, I don't have any money, but I'll definitely try some, man. And he's like, all right, fine. I'll let you try a little bit, but buy some tomorrow. I went over there with zero intention of buying any because I didn't have any money whatsoever. I walked from the gas station to the across the street spot, the spot that I'd always go to smoke during school, we'd leave during lunch to go smoke cigs and weed and then come back after the weed was had wear, worn off. At least I would try to, man. Being in school baked was like a nightmare for me. Like They know. They fucking know, man. On top of it, it was like a 75 to 90% chance when you'd come back, they'd catch you on the cameras. And if they had seen you come back onto school grounds, they were going to search all your pockets. I used to be that rebel dude. They'd be like, I don't consent to any searches and just leave school. Way better than getting arrested with weed. But anyways, we head on over to the tree stump, the signature tree stump that all the kids would smoke cigs around. It was pretty much right across the street on the crosswalk from the school. And there my plug was, looking sketchy in his drug rug with a couple other friends smoking cigs. I walk up there, my girlfriend at the time's all super nervous because she had never even done a, a weed deal before. She'd only bought weed from me. And as I walk up to them, I can clearly see they are 10 out of 10 high. They're giggling laughing at nothing it's like a scene from pineapple express man they are having the best time of their lives i remember the plug had this signature super contagious laugh and it would just have the entire room laughing with him i go up to him I'm like hey man what's up 
what's up with the tincture? You guys look fucking blasted, man. And he's like, Cody, Cody, you got to try this. It tastes so damn good. So he takes out this vial. And at this point, I'm like, oh, shit. Now we're getting into real drugs, man. Like this, this, this doesn't even look like weed. This doesn't look like anything I've ever seen. This is an extract. Like I had never done dabs. This was probably a couple years before dabs were really even a thing. If anything, this was the red hot titanium nail dabs, the, the Squidward dabs with the propane torches. So I nervously ask him like, uh, oh, dude, is it like stronger than weed? And he's just like, dude, you're going to have a great time. Don't even worry. So he uncaps the tincture. And I open my mouth and he puts like three or four drops into my mouth and holy moly, it was like you took a fresh, a fresh batch of bl blueberry muffins out of the oven. You get that aroma filling the whole room. It was like every bit of the terps, every bit of the blueberry muffins in the whole kitchen was in my mouth at once. Plus weed. It was the best flavor ever man i i want to know how the hell they made this i want to recreate it it was the best and it coated my mouth for like 15 minutes with just the best flavor it was like i had a blue jolly rancher in my mouth that tasted like blueberry muffins so incredible and this was also the first time that my plug had met my girlfriend at the time and he was like oh do you want to try some too and she like looks over all nervously like yeah sure and i see him take the dropper in the vial and just suck up an entire vial's worth of tincture. This dude gave me three or four drops, but just squirts the entire thing into my girlfriend at the time's mouth. She had the same reaction as me, like, whoa, tastes like blueberry muffins, that's awesome. And I didn't even realize at the time what he just did. And it being edibles, it, it takes like probably maybe 20, 30 minutes to kick in. And the situation at the time, we, me and this girl were like 15, 16 years old. We, we didn't have our licenses or a car. And so there was about a 30 minute period, like right after school, she would be able to get dropped off and then have to get picked back up. So by the time that she was walking back to go get picked up, it hadn't set in yet. I decided to hang out with the plug for the day. We went back to his house and I remember just chilling on his couch just feeling like I'm sinking. And then I have this like overwhelming happy feeling inside. It was like one of the best highs I've ever had from weed or edibles. It didn't feel overwhelming. It just felt like uplifting and just super mellow in the couch. My buddy's cracking jokes, making me laugh hysterically. And then my plugs plug shows up to the house. Someone I've met a couple times, but to be honest with you, dude, she was a bitch, bro. Every time she'd ever have a conversation with me, She'd look at me and like scoff and like spit in my direction, like that kind of person. Just absolutely just an angry human being, man. Every conversation I've ever had with her, she was just, she was one of the people who would be like freshman, you know, like one of those type of people. Look at this little kid, you know, one of those. But to be fair, I was probably the sketchiest person you could ever imagine back then, dude. Just zero regard for, for rules laws i was just being wild it was a damn miracle that i never got a felony charge on my record or something crazy and here's where the anxiety sets in because i realize that i've now missed the late bus and i want to get to the other side of town if you didn't know you can use the late bus at school as a taxi system just say you're trying to get off at a certain spot you know you got to figure out which bus it is but listen they caught on to it like one of the last years of high school and the guy would start asking for passes and stuff you'd have to go get a pass at the office but before then every day i just use the late bus to get the other side of the town to go hang out at my buddy's house but mission failure today because i got too high on the tincture laying back on the couch and oh i fucking missed the late bus so now now knowing that the plugs plug kind of lives on that side of town i'm like is there any way you can drop me off at the movie theater, which was kind of near where my friends live so I can go and meet up with them there? She's just dead face, like, I guess. So I remember getting in her car and she, then she had to go back inside, get something, made me wait like 15 minutes. So I'm just in the back seat of her car, just chilling, texting on my phone. And I, I always remember she had a book in like the back uh, like pocket of the, kind of like when you're sitting on an airplane, when the, you can pull the tray down and then there's that little mesh pocket underneath where you can put some things. She had this book and it was like all about DMT. And I'm sitting there like flipping through it, like, holy shit. I had no idea what that was at this time. And like, I heard her talking about doing crazy stuff like this, like in conversation, but I'm sitting there reading and I'm like, 
what the fuck, dude? This sounds so crazy. To answer your question, I've never done it before. I don't know if I ever will. I'm a little bit scared after some of the experiences I've heard from my friends, but maybe one day. She finally gets back in the car, and we're about halfway to the movie theater, halfway to the LZ, halfway to Mission Complete, and it's just getting stronger and stronger. And I had only had three drops, and I'm thinking to myself, like, holy fuck. This plug gave my girlfriend at the time a whole damn fucking vial squirt worth. She must be out of this planet. So I text her and I'm like, hey, are you okay? Like, how are you feeling? And she's just like, was there weed in that? Like, I am absolutely gone right now. <laughs> I'm sitting in the backseat cracking up. She's like, what? What? What are you, what are you laughing at? And then, and then as I'm getting dropped off to the movie theater, I'm like, thank you. Have a great day. I was blasted. I text my girlfriend at the time again and I'm like, how high are you? I'm blasted and she gave me four drops. You must be out of it. And she's just like, Cody, I'm freaking out. I have to go to church with my mom right now. And I was like, no. Oh my God. <laughs> she wasn't even a smoker like that. Like she'd smoke with me every once in a while and get like FPS mode high, like every frames per second. Oh, I feel so bad when I'd get her that high, man, but I can't imagine what she was feeling like right now. Now she has to go to fucking church with her mom, dude. It was like this, this special church day. It wasn't just like a normal church day. It was like this special event where her mom had to talk and stuff. Oh my God. I think she managed to get her way out of it. I think she was so high that she couldn't even go to this event. She had to be like, mom, I'm feeling sick. I got to go back home. Something like that, man. I wish I remembered exactly what happened, but I was fucking gone this day. I remember getting out of the car and walking up to all my friends. My eyes were fucking like this. I, I was like, <laughs> and they were like, Cody, how are you so high? Like you just came from school. And I'm like, dude, you have to try this tincture. We need to get some money together and buy this tincture. We did get some money together, but then they ran out. Okay. They ran out. The word got around and it got bought up like, like crazy. It was gone in a, it was gone in a day. God, I wish I could go back and just have them make me a whole gallon of it, man. Holy crap. It was so amazing. The tincture I can get from the dispensary now is on par for the strength but the flavor is not even comparable. I don't think that they can legally put a bunch of like good, cool flavors in it like that because the, the medical marijuana program is very strict. It's very, you know, they don't want to advertise to kids whatsoever. So they can't even use real strain names in Connecticut. I got to go on this website to convert the names they give you at the dispensary to figure out what the strain really is. Connecticut's definitely very lame in that aspect, but also very not lame because I could smoke weed in public wherever cigarettes are smoked. That's got to be one of the coolest fucking laws that's ever been passed since I've been alive. Let me know in the comments down below if you've ever had tincture, man. And if you haven't, I strongly recommend it. It's by far my favorite way to consume like oral cannabis, I guess, or edibles. That sounds really weird. <laughs> the, uh, the THC capsules are pretty good too. I think, I think it's MCT oil or coconut oil with THC. Those are pretty good, but I always found that it made me really sleepy, so I found myself eating them before bed a lot of the time. And if I eat them bef and they don't kick in before I go to bed, this is kind of weird. I'm curious if this has ever happened to one of you guys. It'll like start to kick in, so I'm like, all right, time to go to sleep. And I go to sleep and it's like it all kicks in at once. And there's been a couple times where I wake up and it feels like I haven't been breathing, like sleep apnea level. Like I'm like, <gasps> and I got to get water and stuff, dude. It's terrifying, honestly. It's only happened to me during this. I don't snore. I don't have sleep apnea. I know I don't because my dad does. And luckily I lucked out genetic wise and I don't have it. Those THC capsules, man. I'm like, <gasps> like what the fuck? <laughs> It's like I, someone was choking me in my sleep. I have no idea if it was the capsules or if it was a fluke, but let me know if that's ever happened to you. That was the time that my plug just dosed my girlfriend at the time, like 10 times more than me to somebody that doesn't even smoke weed, zero tolerance. Like at this point, I had been smoking for a decent amount of time. I could smoke a whole joint and I'd be pretty fucking gone. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to sit here and lie to you, bro. Weed has always affected me 10 times stronger than all my friends, but back then back then it was like i was in a movie in my head when i'd smoke weed especially at night you lay back 
close your eyes and I was just fucking visualizing things. Man. The last time I had the tincture from the dispensary, I overdid it. I did a couple vials full or a couple droppers full. And uh, I, I swear this sounds like I'm I'm lying or tripping or something. But I was sitting there laying back seeing fractal patterns when I had like closed eyes visuals. That stuff is strong, man. It's up there with RSO, dude, definitely. I, RSO is way stronger. Don't get me wrong, but it's it's definitely up there for like in the concentrated form. Splendid. Love it. Let me know if you have any tincture stories in the comments down below. And huge thank you to everybody supporting me on Patreon for a dollar or two a month. You can support the channel and get access to secret, unlisted, uncensored videos that I make over on there. I have a ton of fun making them and I really appreciate it. Everybody on screen right now, I appreciate each and every one of you guys for your support. It really helps me out. Check the link in the description for more information on that. I've also been live streaming a decent amount over on twitch.tv slash Xcode A. Same handle as my YouTube account, it's just Xcode A. Definitely go follow me on there if you guys are interested in live streams. And also join the Discord, discord.gg slash Xcode A. I'm in there pretty much every day replying to people. So if you guys want to send me a message or something, that'd be the best place to do it. Or on Twitter DM, Instagram DMs. I read my DMs. Sometimes I don't get to re reply to every single one. But if you shoot me a DM, I'll most likely answer it. So go follow me on my social media. It's all listed on my website along where you can buy merch. Xcode.com. Thank you for spending the time out of your day to watch my video. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. Stay high, stay lifted, and stay snazzy.